<laughs> and I live in a tiny apartment. <sighs> I want to preface this whole video by saying that I am beyond, beyond grateful to have a beautiful home with a healthy family that's functional. <laughs> because we already know like there are so many different elements of life so many different traumas that people go through so many different situations and i am grateful to be in my situation okay i'm not 100 percent happy there's a lot that can change <laughs> there's a lot that i am going to change it is within my grasp i have the power but while i work towards these goals I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. But <laughs> it's time to buy a house, y'all. Like, I need to buy a house. So, I just wanted to, like, I got, like, a, a spark, an idea. And I was like, why not just document this journey? I've been wanting to vlog forever, and I love watching vlogs. I do enjoy seeing or, like, peeking into people's lives. So, hey, this is, like, a peek into my life. Um, if you're new here, I'm Roxanne. Hi. I haven't posted a video in so long. I will be more consistent now. This will keep me accountable, I'm sure. And I wanna document my journey of motherhood, of literally like sacrificing my dreams. That sounds so dramatic, but I used to model full time and now I don't. I'm basically a stay at home mom. I do work part time um, remotely doing pharmacy work and yeah, I'm miserable. <laughs> I'm miserable like I hate it I hate it I hate not being in the world I hate not modeling anymore I hate it all but I love my kids I love my husband I love my little family I love everything I love our journey I know it'll get better it's a season in my life that I am not the happiest but I'm happy it's okay it's a season in my life that what because that's contradictory, right? But yeah, I am happy. I'm content for sure. Anywho, so days of my life. This is going to be a week in my life. We're going to buy a house. I live in a tiny apartment. I need to figure out what to do, how to make it sustainable for my two kids and my husband and me. I'm losing my life. My, I'm, ooh, I'm losing my mind just a teeny bit because I, I work from home and I work currently work in my bedroom. So I'm going to organize, I'm going to clean, I'm going to meditate, I'm going to pray, I've been praying. And when the time is right, we're gonna start house shopping. So I can't wait to take you guys along. It will happen. It's gonna be so embarrassing if like a year from now, I watch this video and I'm like, damn, nowhere close to house shopping. What was I doing posting this? <laughs> no, no, I do not claim that. I do not claim that onto my life. But okay, so it is, actually wednesday that this is the day that i'm starting this vlog middle of the week on hump day and um i'm actually currently in the basement of our building uh so the reason why not the reason why um so my current situation is we live in a two bedroom apartment um, in a building that we bought. Well, my husband bought. Um, and it's an investment property. It was an Airbnb. And you know, with the pandemic and everything that's happened. So now we're currently staying one of the units basically in the building and it's tight, it's tight. But luckily we have the basement and I work out in the basement and it's just been like therapy, fucking therapy. I have a baby. I had a baby 10 months ago. He's gonna be 10 months tomorrow, my goodness. So you know, we're on like Project Snap Back. Yeah, so Project Snap Back. Trying to get this way snatched, snatched. <laughs> There's so much technical difficulties because I look red right now. I don't know why I look red. Um, let's see. But yeah, so I was 177 pounds when I gave birth. I'm currently down to 164. Which is not that impressive 10 months later, honestly, but it's like, 
what are we racing for what am i who am i racing with <laughs> to get back to 150 like it is what it is it'll happen when it happens i'm breastfeeding and life like so it is what it is i i really actually like the way i look i do enjoy being a little slimmer and i just want to feel healthier like i want to have more energy i want to be stronger it's performance stuff too which is why i do want to lose a little weight um and get a little like a little more snatch you know what i mean but all right so i have the tonal it's the best thing that's ever happened to me <laughs> especially working from home doing everything from home it's nice to just come downstairs and do a quick workout i only have like 40 minutes so let's do it from my hour break um you know made the best of it use the hour to get a great back workout done and a little bit of chest a teeny little bit of chest um yeah working out has definitely been super therapeutic for me i highly recommend implementing something into your routine that just like makes you feel sane through all of the chaos and drama that is motherhood especially with little kids i have a three-year-old and a 10 month old so there is hardly any time to do anything for self <laughs> so the fact that i'm able to just like get a little workout in is the best thing ever the best thing i could do for my mind for my spirit for my body obviously so yeah tiny house, tiny house problems <laughs> At least I have some type of therapy. We are not victims here. All right, so it's back to work. Back to the struggle. I do have to go pick up my daughter in like maybe in a little under an hour. I'm gonna run there and run back. <laughs> so that's like my cardio for the day. I'm obsessed. Ooh. Y'all didn't see that, right? You didn't see that. Mommy, the, the princess is home. <laughs> I finished the laundry while I was working out. So I'm going to fix the bed. I need to declutter this little area here. It has a bunch of our uh, summer clothes that I do not know where to put, honestly. These closets are so small and there's no space. Uh, actually, the space is adequate. I just haven't organized properly, honestly. If I want to be honest with myself, the bottle stuff, baby. Okay, mommy has to wash it out. I'll be right back. <laughs> The land is so sticky. Um, I could just hide. What are you saying to the camera, Tiva? Huh? Behind, behind this mama, and I can do everything, and I don't know what to say. That's why I always talk about that. What? What are you talking about, young lady? <laughs> what are you talking about, young lady? Hey! I did get out of the Pikachu because I just felt like it. Because I also said, because I oiled away because I. Oh, okay. Can we tell everyone what you have on right now? Just the other dress. Your favorite. <laughs> you are so cute. Prettiest princess I've ever seen. Anywho, yeah, she's in that phase where. <laughs> 
it's like I have all of these really cute clothes from Shein that I bought for her and she refuses to wear anything if it's not a dress so if it if she can't swirl in it and be fabulous honey she's not wearing it so that's been fun every morning when I get her ready for daycare she's looking at me like why is this lady talking about me mommy's going to clean her room is her room messy because my mom and my mom just said because I don't want you to be me because I want it to be messy because my mom wants to clean it up because I wear a pretty other dress. That's why I didn't want to clean it. Okay. Okay, good talk. Good talk, Tiva baby. Good talk. Why do it on my mom? He's a monster because I'm All righty, Tiva baby. Oh, I think my I think my food is here. No. Yes, food provided by Uber Eats tonight. <laughs> Lazy Mom 101. Uber. Okay, so it's the following day. Good afternoon. It's 1.30 p.m. I'm feeling pretty fatigued today. I don't know. It's just... You know when you're not in your most optimal surrounding? Like, I haven't even gotten any sun today. Like, barely moved my body yet. You know, just been sitting on my desk, working for the man. So it kind of just affects your energy. Um, goal for today is to declutter my desk, get rid of this clutter in this corner, and just make it a little more livable to be working from home. I've been working from home forever, but still, like, it just needs to be a little more organized. Um, yeah, I just, just one of those days just one of those days but it's so funny because i say that all the time but i have one of those days almost every day now so that's why we're going to make a conscious effort to change that because i don't want that to be the pattern of my life where me being me being what like 100 percent and content is the anomaly like no that shouldn't be my life it, this day should be the anomaly where i don't feel like my best and i'm doing something that i really hate that should not be every day it should be like once in a while because i you always have to do something you don't like but i shouldn't be like suffering through life like this i truly truly believe that so we're going to declutter my desk i have to go through all this mail over here um and I have to go through all these clothes in my poor baby's bassinet. Also, Zany is 10 months today. He's 10 months old. What have I been doing these 10 months? Lord, they went so fast. All right, let's get this show on the road. there is to do and then you don't do anything it's just like the overwhelming feeling and anxiety and you just get stuck and then it gets worse and worse and worse 
it's so bad but that's so crazy that's bad i need to file this away keep it somewhere safe but glad to know that it was here and that it wasn't lost very important It's so crazy. Um, I just thought about like seeing my green card and seeing how official that is. Like there was a point in time when I didn't have that and things felt so, um, what's the right word? It was scary, but it was just very unstable because I couldn't work for a little bit. And it's so funny how like I'm just easily able to work, travel in and out of the States or out of the country I should say and now my mind has already conjured up the next issue and the next problem which is how I hate my job when meanwhile when I couldn't work I would have killed for this job to work from home and to be comfortable and to be able to like prov not well I don't really provide my husband provides but to help with the household and it's just so crazy how now like I find that to be an issue like that same thing that I prayed for for so long is an issue I mean technically I prayed to model full-time and I was doing that but it's interesting to see how you will always find an issue you will always find something to complain about and something to make an issue so yeah that just kind of like puts so much in perspective like seeing that Oh, man and it's like to the point where it's so worthless it's just laying around on my desk meanwhile I, I prayed so hard for this so crazy somebody just woke up from his nap 10 months old today I wanted you guys to say hi hi handsome <laughs> How was your nap, baby? Hmm? Hmm? Are you still tired? Hmm, booby? Say hi. Say hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Say hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> He's like, just wake me up. Just wake me up. You play too much. wipes Sunday morning walk over <laughs> Sunday morning we're the mermaid you're the little mermaid oh my gosh she has toothpaste on her mouth let's go wipe it off baby what are we making today Tiva pancakes pancakes I'm so excited that's like our Sunday morning tradition we always make pancakes and cookies But we're definitely gonna have some pancakes. Mommy's gonna have some bacon with it and the coffee. I don't love bacon and coffee. <sighs> All right, fine. Okay. 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 Okay.
There's a little more because we have to make some for Grandma too. Oh no. Look at this dude. Okay, we close it. And then just hit the power button for me. This one? No, this one right here. Okay. And then we don't touch it after that, right? Because it gets very, very hot. You need to push it, Mama. Yeah, I'll push it in. Thank we did it, coffee! Let's... <laughs> now, pancakes. Yeah. Tell the camera. Pancakes. Pancakes. Pancakes, pancakes for Ariel. Okay, Miss Ariel, we're going to do some pancakes. We're going to make some pancakes. The king is already the king. Yeah, he's the king daddy. He's the king mermaid daddy. Okay, you guys, life hack. So, I have a picky eating toddler who loves anything that's sugary <laughs> and carby. So, I found these, which are protein pancakes, and it's great for me, who's a workout junkie. I'm a workout girly, <laughs> and I always focus on the gains and trying to get enough protein in my diet. So, this has protein added, which I love. It's 15 gram of protein. So yeah, and then I add an egg, which adds a little more protein to it. In case you wanna try it, and it tastes delicious. I don't know, I wasn't like accustomed to eating pancakes growing up, so I'm not sure if it's as delicious as regular pancakes. But to me, it tastes just great, and Tiva loves it, right Tiva? All right, let's do this. And she already knows the recipe. Tell them, what are we going to add? Oh, <coughs> bless you. This! This, and then what else? Milk! Yes. Well, you have to tell the camera, they can't hear you. What did you say? This. This! Mm -hmm. And then what else? Milk! Mm -hmm. And then what else? Um, I don't know. Oh, you forgot. Yeah. What about the egg? What about the vanilla extract? Uh, yes, but not the egg. Not the egg? Okay. You want more? No, just one, Tiva. Just one, please. Thank you, baby. Okay. I like two pancakes. You have to mix it for Mama. Can you mix it for me? Go yeah. ahead, mix it. I can mix two pancakes with that. Thank you. Best sous chef ever. Ever, ever, ever. And this is the how we make it. This is how we make two pancakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can mash the egg. Mommy, you up mash the egg. Yeah, I keep mixing, missing it. Yeah. That's too much egg. That's too much egg size. Is it? Yeah. I want to put ice cream in it. <laughs> so it could taste really good. You're so silly. Ice cream? Oh my goodness. Everybody, hey, 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 hey. Mommy. 
Yes. Why are you saying mix, 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 mix? That's what you said, no? I was just copying what you said. No. No? That wasn't fair. We don't say that. We don't talk like that to you, okay? You don't copy me. Don't put me. that into your conscious thoughts of that wasn't fair. There's always a way to don't, find Don't fair. say fear. Okay, don't say it. You don't say it. Hey, don't say you don't say it. Things are pretty fair. You just have to find the fairness of it. Yeah, I find like the fairness of it. Okay. It's good, baby.
yes, I live in a tiny apartment, <laughs> but it's a home and I'm grateful. So yeah, it's tight, it's cramped, it's cluttered. We're working on that. Um, but I have a family, a beautiful family, and we've made a beautiful home with what we've been given and I'm so grateful. So I thank you for watching. Let me show you the final product of my desk. <laughs> my one desk that <laughs> I organized, the one thing I did. Um, <laughs> it looks pretty good. I don't know if you remember the previous product. I still have a bunch of uh, ma more mail to go through, but I did quite a lot and organized that. And just, you know, it looks a lot better. A little card that Tiva made me for Mother's Day. I'm actually very proud of myself. And I know that to some that might sound absolutely ridiculous. It's like, that's all you did. But I've learned <laughs> throughout my life that I have to kind of meet. And I think this goes for everybody. You have to meet yourself where you are. And you have to be honest and realistic. So that's the whole thing with setting realistic goals that comes with that where you have to kind of be like or assess where you are and where i'm at is like all right this is this one little thing that i can do and it doesn't seem like unfathomable like i can actually get it done which was to organize my desk and i did that so i'm happy check <laughs> um and it's one step closer to my dream home my dream house because now i can work in a place that doesn't feel as cluttered even though i have a lot more to do but it's like i did one thing and it's like okay what's next what it gives me momentum and i think that's how it begins start with small realistic things you can do honestly some days it'll literally just be to fix your bed and that's me most days right now that's the season of my life right now so just be realistic with yourself all I could have done was just organize my desk because I got a baby, a 10 month old. You probably can hear him right now. Thank you, God, for my mother <laughs> who helps me out with that. Um, yeah, I have a baby. I have a I have a toddler. I have a husband. I have a job. I have, I have yeah, I have, I have, I have. So, um, yeah, I want to thank you for watching. I am excited to embark on this journey. I'm excited to manifest my dream house. And while we get there, we're going to clean, we're going to organize, we're gonna just appreciate where we're at for now and work on what we've got. Gotta work on what we've got. You feel me? You feel me? So like, comment, 